was this offseason like for you? Uh, it was good. Just worked with Lane at Lane's Barn. Uh, shout out to Gabe Rangel, helped me get do good, get better. How was working out at his barn? What made you decide to really commit to you know working out there every day this offseason? I just knew I wasn't good enough. I needed to get better, and I had to change something. And I mean, Lane's a specimen, so why not just work with him and learn from him? What do you like about you? Uh, he pushes you. You know, uh, there's a high standard. Lane holds a high standard, so you show up to work every day. It's kind of like, kind of like training camp. You know, just every day you go through it. Lane said he was running you a lot, making you run a lot. How much, how much weight did you lose? He, he kind of said that uh, that was his goal with you. And uh, how, how hard did he push you? I mean, he pushed me hard. You know, I. I, w I wanted to do it too for myself and for the team to put myself in a better position. I just wanted to be quicker and better shape, uh, lighter, leaner. Uh, I lost 20, 30 pounds. So I feel a lot quicker, a lot faster, better shape. I'm not as tired. So. Feel as strong? I do, I do feel as strong. Uh, I mean, it's taken me a little bit to get used to playing like it because I'm not used to being able to, like, step so quickly or, like, get out. So, like, I, I was kind of uh, all over the place with my forework, but I'm trying to get better at it. Was that your decision or, or was it a suggestion from someone? Uh, I mean, it was, like, it's understood, I guess, you know. I wasn't good enough. I need to get better. What about your tape from last year? Do you think you needed to improve on the most? Was it, was it your quickness? My quickness, uh, my pass set, my hands, pretty much everything about my game. It's a so high standard. Jordan kind of always tells us he only hears from Stout really when you're doing something wrong. How, how hard is he on you? How, uh, what did he give you message-wise to improve on when it came to your footwork? stuff like that I mean he's on me every day I haven't he coaches me hard every day and nothing's good enough for him you know I mean he got I I agree I just I wasn't I'm not good enough so I just got to get better is the center thing pretty much dead now I mean you're just gonna be a guard I have no idea I just play where they tell me to play try to do my best job since you've uh, done anything at center? Uh, the other day I did a little bit of center in the walkthrough, but not, I haven't done it out here. There was, uh, you started uh, every game to start the season up until, I want to say it was like the Giants or the Browns game. Yeah. And, um, you know, to, to you know, our eyes, I guess, not to speak for everyone, but you played reasonably well, and even Jeff. Stoutland said this offseason, like he went out of his way to praise the way that you played last year. But I think you were like inactive for one of those games, and for like not really any discernible reason. What what, what happened there last season? Um, coach made a decision, and I just listened to him. I support my teammates the best that I can. What does it mean to you to get first team reps during camp? Um, what a, what's your takeaways from, from how you're playing with the group? I definitely need to get a lot better. Uh, I feel like uh, every day uh, Coach Sirianni pray, like, preaches it, get 1% better, so I'm just trying to get better at the things that aren't good enough. And I'm just really trying to focus on it and just perfect it. A lot of emphasis when it comes to blocking angles. Where do you feel like you're at when it comes to that aspect of your game? I'll say uh, my pass sets. I got to do a better job with my angles and where the guys lining up on me and taking better sets. Uh, we learned that Sirianni likes to use video um, yeah. to help get his teaching points across and reference with Kobe and uh, Kobayashi, a couple ones like that. What's, a, what's one that's resonated with you? Um. Uh, I would say the the Michael Jordan one. What was that one? Just how 
every day in practice he would treat it like a game, like he would put the pressure on himself, uh, like the coach would flip him to the scout team and the losers had to run and you know they'd be losing five to one and it's the six and he would come back and win. So when he said when he got in the game, you know, when those big moments came, it was nothing new to him. He was ready for it. And I just, that kind of really resonated with me. Like, just treat it like a game every day. And so when it comes, you'll be ready for it. Last season, you guys didn't have the true training camp experience, like eating in the camp and building that camaraderie. What's it like for you guys to have that this season inside? Oh, it's phen phenomenal, you know, like, uh, all the old lines sitting together at lunch, just talking story from like rookies all the way up to, you know, Kelsey and Lane. We all just hang out and good camaraderie. The practices have been shorter in length, not as many padded practices versus versus what Doug had done. Yeah. Um, how, how do you compare the intensity of these practices versus the ones with Doug? Uh, I mean, just because we're not in pads doesn't mean the intensity is not high out there. <laughs> playing offensive line and defensive line, it pretty much it doesn't matter if you're wearing pads or no pads, it's full goal, pretty much. Lane said the other day the offensive line room can be kind of vicious together, busting you know what on each other. How, how, how do you guys take that when, he, when he's, you know, cracking jokes at you? It's all, <laughs> it's all in good spirits. I mean, uh, <laughs> Lane's a jokester. You know, a lot of, we all make fun of each other, but that's just kind of like how our old line room is. I, I love it, especially at lunch. We'll just be sitting there making fun of each other.